Um, I mentioned earlier that I'm an analyst. I've primarily worked with technical data analysis, but also with operations and procedures. I um, uh, have been currently working in environmental health for, for the past five years, particularly focused on children's environmental health due to the explosive levels of cancers um, that are pretty much considered due to environmental changes since I was growing up. Um, I am also a member of the local neighborhood, the community that opposed successfully the downtown, uh, the creamery cell tower. Um, and I'm here to share with you what the heck happened there. And I'm here to urge you to please find whatever opportunity there is to get that cell tower off a of cell, uh, off a of Casa Grande or at a minimum, don't let them stay on, don't let them increase the equipment. The approval process is highly, highly technical. It is so technical that I couldn't understand it. Basically, no one could understand it. And the neighbors had to hire an engineer and a cell tower attorney who is located actually on the East Coast. They're not easy to find because most of them actually work for the telecommunications <laughs> industry. Yeah. Um, what we found is what was represented in concept, in discussions and put forth was not at all what is contained in those application documents, the technical drawings, the radiation levels, whether the radiation levels are constant or whether they're varied and they spike, really important. Um, as context, T-Mobile's own commissioned report by the Ecological Institute, it recommends radiation levels 1,000 times less than the current FCC recommended levels for anyone that's spending more than four hours in a location at work, at school, at, at their homes. Cell tower uh, radiation, wireless radiation has not been tested since the 1980s when nobody had a cell, town, cell phone. Now we've got towers, everybody at home, multiple people at home have multiple devices. Everyone has a router. Scroll through the networks available to you and you see that you are getting fried. No wonder children's cancer rates are off the charts. So back to the application. When there, um, there's a difference between a couple of cell tower, uh, cell antennas, a minor wireless telecommunications facility and a major tele uh, telecommunications facility. The one downtown on top of the creamery, they were representing that to be minor. It was not minor, it was major. Citizens had to go through expense to point that out to the city staff because pardon me, they're not engineers there. They're not electromagnetic engineers in the city and they don't hire them. We got an attorney to present to the city the exact process, all the questions, all the required findings for making a decision. The city couldn't even, pardon my French, they couldn't wrap their heads around that. It is so technical, so I urge you, please stay away. It's riddled with risk. Once you let them in, they can ask for more equipment. You can say no to that. But even if it's if it increases the area at the base station substantially, you can say no to that. But there's a lot you cannot say no to. You have and, about 20 seconds. Thank you. And it will increase the radiation.